Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen. This is the PTU channel where we look at the PTU in its current state. So this is patch 2.1c. Uh, at the moment I'm just having a quick look through my freelancer, but we're going to go to Port Olisar. So something I noticed that I haven't actually noticed before is you can interact with the door panels. Um, and obviously they don't let you access into all the rooms. They literally let you access into the room that you spawned in, I believe. So this one I can get into. Which I think is actually pretty cool. And you'll notice that if you've been playing the PTU, the doors used to be a bit buggy. Uh, now they're a lot better. They're not invisible. Um, not all the time anyway. They actually have assets that slide in and out rather than partly loading. And, I mean, that's just something that they fixed along the way with the PTU. There's lots of random bugs that occur. Um, and I've never noticed this before, actually. The actual different types of pips soda. One of the other major things that is really nice in the PTU 2.1 is the fact that it gives you a description of the weapons. Now I've been looking to, for, to get the XML files uh, and all that jazz for 2.1 uh, and you can just look through the actual weapons on the holo table now and it gives you a description of them and it gives you their stats and it does the same for the ships and components. So you can look through all your different ships, look for all the different components, ammo, power plants, all of that jazz is now listed here with all its meta stats. That's really useful, that means you don't have to keep on looking at spreadsheets, it's all integrated into game now giving you those stats that a lot of people need to, to make the choices on their ships uh, that are best suited to them. The Cutlass, Retaliator and Freelancer in the latest patch have all received a rebalance to their turrets. So the Freelancer in general here um, has been nerfed quite heavily. Instead of having those um, four C788 big size four super cannons, it's now just got four tarantulas, which don't do very much damage comparatively. I mean, the, the, the 788s used to just rip apart a target. These, unfortunately, are a bit lackluster um, compared. Uh, it did make the Freelancer really overpowered, having those 788s, but also the Freelancer now is a lot heavier. Basically, it had one-tenth of the mass uh, that it was supposed to have, so they've rebalanced that, giving it nine times more mass. Or, well, now it's not one tenth of its mass anymore. It's it's the correct mass. I suppose it's ten times its mass because it's times ten. Let's let's use maths correctly, shall we? Um, so yeah, now it it manoeuvres a lot more heavily. Uh, it hasn't got super turning, but both of those together, the weaker weapons and the bad turning, as well as having it overpowered before, just make it feel very weak now. It's still a really good ship. Uh, I really like it. I've been flying it around in the verse uh, with some other peeps. Um, it's just, yeah, the, the Freelancer's weapons being nerfed like that, I just, I would have liked to have kept the super powerful weapons, Caution. but that's just me. You can still do some great sniping with it, uh, the range on them uh, is absolutely great um, for accuracy, uh, and yeah, it rips apart a Vandal. It's just not so great against player ships when you haven't got a run at them, but uh, anyway, no, it's, it's, it's still a pretty powerful ship, I still really love the Freelancer. And uh, it still has its uses, and obviously when you customise it, you're going to have the ability to be able to change those weapons off anyway, and, and put some weapons on that you really, really like, and it's going to have some pretty powerful guns. But just in general now, the whole PTU seems a lot more stable. This 2.1c patch has really given a lot of optimizations and improvements. Now, we still have massive frame lag occasionally. This is due to server issues, really, more than anything else. So... Uh, the issue is is that either not giving enough cores to the server, uh, issues become apparent when the server's been running for a little while, so like too many entities will spawn, too many pirates will be in a certain area, and there's glitches and bugs which just will cause frame lag for everyone in the server. And it's more that the whole server's slowing down, I suppose. So once this comes onto the live servers, this won't be so much of an issue. The live server stuff has got much better hardware, apparently. Um, so that should fix a lot of the issues. And they've been talking about adding more cores. Um, so they'll have more hardware, more CPUs running the server instances, giving us more performance or at least less lag. Apologies if I'm talking a bit quicker than I would be normally. I've drunk a lot of coffee and quite a few energy drinks over the last couple of hours. Um, doing some interesting Star Citizen videos, which I'll share with you in the near future. Anyway, guys, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really does help me, and I will see you in the verse.